What's the best real-life example, you've witnessed, of someone destroying their own happiness? I have an insecure cousin who would regularly reject guys who were into her and chase guys who weren't interested. The more distant and emotionally unavailable the guy was the harder she'd try to win him over. The best real-life example of I don't want to be a part of any club that would have me as a member I've ever seen. I know a guy who gambled away $8 million his grandfather left him. He inherited at 21. It was gone by 23. He's actually an incredible good guy too. That's what kills me. My sister was offered an incredible well-paying job doing something she's great at. She decided it would be too easy and opted for a far more challenging job, in a far less appealing setting, with an asshole of a boss she was hoping to impress. She's fucking miserable now. I honestly don't get why she does this sort of shite to herself. My dad threw out a 15-year marriage with a woman he adored because he got drunk and fucked a random co-worker. He's utterly miserable now. This entire thread is pretty much affairs addictions. I had a friend in college who had a tendency to act before thinking, but was generally fun and well-meaning. After I had graduated, my friend apparently got coerced by a woman he was trying to sleep with to try heroin just once. As I heard it, he refused initially, then caved because he felt pressured. My friend overdosed and died. Just like that, one bad decision ended his life. R.I.P. Mike. Oh man, my ex-girlfriend from high school. Valedictorian of our class, super smart came from an awesome family. I'm still friends with her sister and mom. Totally just dropped out of college moved to Baltimore and smoked crack for 15 years. Has a bunch of kids, is totally unintelligible to talk to. It's bananas. A friend of mine quit a job that paid six figures a year because he didn't trust his girlfriend to not cheat on him while he was at work. The kicker here being she was a hooker when they met. He's a great guy but a complete idiot when it comes to women. Me. And my drinking habits. My life looks fucking great on paper, but I was still drowning myself in alcohol. About seven months sober right now. Edit while this got a lot more attention than I expected. Thank you all for the support, it really is appreciated. Just going to leave a link here for anyone that's questioning their own drinking habits, it's been really helpful for me. I'll stop drinking. Friend who got married because he he didn't want to break it off and thought he would just be better off, he's dying a slow death. There was a guy I knew, selling hash oil. He'd get five pounds of it every month. He had a house, a cottage, a boat, a motorcycle, a 1970 Mustang, and tons of jewelry and toys. He got into coke, and went from the nose, to the pipe, to the arm. The last time I saw him he was bitching at a street corner dealer that wouldn't front him a gram of weed because his word was no good. My best friend gave up a boyfriend who adored her to help out her lying, cheating, alcoholic ex. He said he needed her was on the verge of suicide had no one else. She felt like she had to help her. Her current BF was not okay with it so she let him end it. She's not officially back with the asshole yet but it's just a matter of time. Here's the best part, you may be thinking she secretly liked the cheating ex did not. The cheater was also shit in bed. The new guy was incredible. She and the cheater were just childhood friends and she couldn't bring herself to abandon him. When the alcohol took control. 10 years as a non-functioning drunk. 6 years sober. I met a guy who went to an Ivy League law school, putting himself hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. He passed the bar exam with an almost perfect score, but was rejected from the bar due to his drug history. He had been involuntarily committed to a psychiatric hospital after getting really high and becoming psychotic. No state is likely to ever accept him as a lawyer now. He's basically stuck making 40k a year as a legal assistant for the rest of his life, all because he did a bunch of drugs in college. 
My ex-friend who took the unconditional love of her husband to treat him like dirt because he always forgave her. When he finally stopped 10 years later she was shocked that she was divorced and whined about how her life was shattered and happiness stolen. I'm still so very proud of him for getting away. Dude got feelings for a girl he knew for some time. She was kind, caring, genuinely good person. They texted a lot and stuff and she seemed really interested in him. So he decided to cut her off, while chasing after a mentally unstable toxic girl who just uses him and only reaches out to him when she wants something. All while constantly whining that nobody wants him and that women are all backstabbing bitches who can't be trusted. Very good friend of mine, very good person, works hard, married a monster, he hasn't smiled for nearly 30 years now. My best friend was married to a guy who worked on the oil rigs and constantly suspected her to cheating though she didn't give him any reason to believe that. Threw away a marriage with two kids on the basis of nothing. Kid I was close friends with when I was 14-15. He had a great personality and sense of humor, and girls loved him. He overdosed on heroin in his 20s after having two kids. My relationship with alcohol. Some days I catch a buzz, but most days, hell. I tried drinking my way out of hell, but it just got hellier. So now I just stare at it in my cabinet. But my happiness is greater. Me. I turned down an interview for a great job as a trainee because I thought I had something better. I ended up in a company where I quit a month after based on bullying from co-workers and a horrible chef. I should have taken it. No, I couldn't go back to the other one. Two separate women. Married to really great men. Though every marriage is a two-way street. Women cheated on the men multiple times. Ended up leaving to be with the affair partners. Which didn't work out in both cases. Both women were miserable. Both men ended up happily remarried. To this day, both women say they regret everything and know they would have been much happier with their original spouse. My mom started doing hard drugs and drinking again after a long period of sober life. She quit her job with no notice $100,000 a year. She lost her car, she lost her house and everything inside. She was charged with possession several times, consequently labeled as a felon. She eventually got a job at McDonald's for minimum wage. She died of an accidental fentanyl overdose at age 56. I have a few friends who were in unhappy, strained relationships but still decided to have a kid. Unsurprisingly, they became more unhappy but still had a second child. Still unhappy and now very stressed, they decided to get a puppy to complete their stereotypical, cookie-cutter family. Now they have kids with someone they don't get along with and an unruly puppy dog they don't have time for plus all the financial stress that comes with each. They're perpetually miserable and it's purely because of their own choices and a desire to live a normal boring life. Idiots. My parents getting married I'd say. According to them themselves they were so happy together when they were just dating. They married about three years after I was born I think, and now the house is a wreck. Nobody's happy here anymore hence why I'm leaving as soon as possible. Hell they didn't even want to get married. They only did it so airport security would stop asking why I didn't share a last name with my mother. Probably when I broke up with my last girlfriend because everything is getting too stressful and busy for me, too many demands on my time. Most amazing woman I know, bloody gorgeous and sweet. Currently, my manager at work is living with his mother who has Alzheimer's and is getting to a pretty bad state. He refuses any advice even from people who have gone through what he's going through and just doing what he wants. He refuses to get home care to help when he's not there, basic things like getting a whiteboard to write a note for his mom so she won't need to call him 20 times a day and ask when he is getting off work, etc. I think he likes having something to complain about to us here. Was loving the pizza I was eating, probably should have stopped but ate two more slices, then another piece of garlic bread, it ruined what two slices earlier was a perfect evening. 
My parents say if they weren't religious they would get divorced face palm so instead they fight all the time and force their children to take sides. The moment my best friend decided she would use meth only socially face with rolling eyes. Fast forward five years. She's lost everything pensive face. Me spending all my money and quitting getting fired from every job and ruining every relationship I have. Girls crawling back to their ex-boyfriends after they cheated on them multiple times. Myself, ages 1932, with alcohol. Happiness eluded me. Going on two years sober now. Threatening a judge never goes well. You can get up to 15 years for contempt for one threat, even if you were just in about a traffic fine. I've seen is someone always looking at what others have on social media. This made them feel not so happy about their own